Okay, so today I will introduce to you about the one model to um, identify the price of the options. So that the first model we will learn today is about the binomial tree model. So the name of the model also mentions something about what is the idea behind this model. So they will use a tree and this tree will have two branch. So whenever and in every step is we'll have uh, two possibility. So because we have two possibilities, so the name of the model is a binomial tree. So um, what is a binomial tree and how we can apply this idea to identify the price of the options? So uh, today we will learn about that. Okay. So um, uh, before we go to the uh, one formula, very uh, simple formula by the end of today's class to, to uh, to identify the price of the options, uh, we will go one simple example first, and we will borrow the idea about the riskless portfolio and no arbitrage, so that we can identify the price of the options. Uh, so what is the data we have? So look at the slide, you will see that uh, we have some uh, the information like this. So I will uh, note down and together uh, work with you on this, okay? So we have one stock. So the current stock price is a twenty dollar. Okay, so the stock price can go up or go down. So you look at this, you will see that uh, uh, it look like a tree, right? And this tree have two branch. So that's why I, I mentioned to you that uh, the model is a binomial tree model. So the stock price can go up to twenty two dollar, or go down to eighteen dollar. Okay, and uh, we have one con options. Uh, the strike price is uh, twenty-one dollar, and the maturity is a uh, three months, or is equivalent to zero point twenty-five year. Okay, and the stock, um, the the risk free rate is a uh, twelve percent. Okay, so the question is uh, what is the strike? Uh, what is the option price here? Okay, so I will denote it as a uh, F. So what is the price of the F, okay, of the options? So um, if the stock price go up to 22, the options value or the options uh, profit is a $1, right? Because um, you can buy at um, $21, but now the stock price is 22. So if you are the option holder, you earn $1 profit, okay? But if the stock price go down to $18, for you is a... Uh, Nothing, right? Because um, um, you you cannot earn anything from this option, so that's why I um. I denoted the FD. So what is the FU and FD? FU is a option when the stock price go up, so U is up, and uh, FD when the options um, the option price when the stock price go down, D for the down. Okay, so what is the F today? So how about we do one simple tricky things here. So from the slide, you will learn that uh, the author will try to calculate, uh, construct one uh, risk list portfolio. Okay, so they will construct one risk list portfolio by doing like this. So this portfolio will include in two parts. The first part is uh, they will buy or loan delta share so they buy the share and the number of share they will buy is a delta okay and they will short one con options okay so when they buy the delta share the the value of this component is a $20 right time delta okay and when they short the con the price of this one is a F, okay? And remember that here I want to make another further um, notation here for you to easy to understand is that uh, when you buy, that is a cost for us, right? So if that is uh, the cost, we have a minus in front of that. And when you show the corn, you receive the money, so the value of the corn is uh, actually is your profit so we have the f and this is a plus sign okay 
So uh, our idea is that uh, we want to know the portfolio value of today. And if we know that uh, the stock price is um, the, the stock component is a minus $20, so tra minus 20 delta, so we can easy to make the simple con calculation to know how much is at today. Okay, so um, this is the that is a uh, idea how we can identify the con options. So um, to to uh, to know to to uh, analyze these questions, the the uh, the problem here is um, we have a risk list portfolio. So what is a risk list portfolio? What does it mean? This means that um, the value of the options is constant over time. It's constant. Uh, uh, regardless of the, the 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 stock price movement in the market so if the stock price go up or if the stock price go down the value of the options is always the same uh, the, the value of the portfolio is always the same okay so um, the value of the options when the stock price go up is equal to 22 delta right so that is the uh, uh, the, the, the stock components and minus one dollar because we show the cone so if the cone holder earn one dollar profit that is our loss right so if that is our loss that is a minus one how about the if the stock price go down is will be 18 delta okay and because this is a risk portfolio so portfolio value will be constant regardless of the the, the possibility so we will show one equation that uh, 22 dollar delta minus 1 equal to 18 dollar so if you solve this is we will 4 delta equal to 1 or delta equal to 0 0.25 share okay so what does it mean if the stock price go up the value of the option uh, this portfolio will be 4.5 right uh, 22 times 0 0.25 is equal to 5.5 minus 1 is will be equal to 4.5 and if the stock price go down 18 delta this means that uh, the value of the portfolio also 4.5 okay so in any possibility uh, the our portfolio on way equal to 4.5 three months later okay so how much is this one in today so we will use the discounting function this will be equal to 4.5 times e minus 0 0.12 times t 0 0.25 okay yeah so it's equal to 4.3 uh, okay so this is our portfolio today okay uh, to construct this portfolio we need to spend minus 4.637 Oh, this is a three six seven. Okay, three six seven. So um, the portfolio value today is a four point three six seven. It means that we need to spend four point three six seven today to buy this portfolio, and. Um, is have the minus at the beginning because uh, as I told you the um, that is our cost and if that is our cost we need to spend money and that's why that is a money that the cost outflow so that's why I use a minus to 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 note here for you to easy to understand okay so this portfolio including two parts so the first part is a stock price equal to minus 20 times 0 0.25 so equal to minus 5 right so we need to spend five dollar for the stock however we receive the money for the short corn okay so if we short corn we receive the app so what does it mean we will have one equation like this 4.367 minus uh, equal to minus 5 plus f okay 
so this means that f equal to 5 minus 4.367 so it's equal to 0 0.633 okay so this uh, 633 actually is uh, equal to f right so f equal to 0 0.633 okay so that is our option value today okay so this process people call this process is the um, riskless portfolio or no arbitrage way to identify the options price okay so please read this um, example again so that you can understand what is the idea of this and we will go further in the next lecture about how we can generalize this um, example to have uh, one simple formula to identify the con options okay